Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series, which demonstrates the essential skills, tips, tricks and techniques that you will require for building ADF applications. In this demonstration, you will see how you can control the user input in a table column filter. My name is Frank Fuse and I'm from the Oracle JWAP product management team. To create a table with column filters, you drag and drop a collection from the ADF uh, data controls panel. You then choose either an updatable table or read-only table. In the Edit Table Column dialog, you have the options to enable filtering for the columns that you're building within the table. By default, those columns have an integrated, implicit created input text field for the user to type in free text for the search of the table. So the problem statement is, how can you control the user input? So how can you provide a specific filter component like a list box or restrict the user input to numbers or characters. So let's have a look. So this is the runtime view of a table with the column filters enabled. So I can use the column filter here to provide search conditions to search for a specific employee ID number or if I have other ID number fields like salary to search for specific salary. What I don't want is that users type in non-numeric values into a numeric search field. So if I type in 1, 2, 3, this works pretty well, but if I try typing A, B, C, this doesn't work. And this is what this video session is about. How do you control the behavior so that you can filter the user input? So how do you build this sample? So I have a table pre-built already, so it has a table filled on top of the column. and I want to customize this input text field filter here. To do this, I select a column, go to my structure window, expand the node, and then I see a filter facet here. And to this filter facet, I drag and drop an input text field. This input text field will replace the default text field that is displayed by the ADF table for the filter of the columns. Using the property inspector, in the next step, I need to wire the text input field value to the default behavior so that the filter condition is understood when I query the view object. So I go to JSV objects, there's a VS link or node. This VS is a variable defined on the table and this has a filter criteria node. And here are all my attributes listed that I can filter for. So I select the employee ID, choose that, and this way now the default functionality is back just using my own input text field. The next step is to filter this input text field. And for this I use JavaScript. So I use a client listener and I drag and drop the client listener on top of the input text field. And I want the client listener to respond to the key down event. And this should call the JavaScript method called the press character input. JavaScript method is defined in an external JavaScript file that is referenced from the AF resource tag that I added on top of the page of my table. So here's the AF resource tag, and this AF resource tag, as we will see in the property palette, points to JavaScript file that contains my function. And then when I run the application, the table filter will, for every key that is pressed, call the JavaScript function. The function will filter the user input accordingly to what you want it to do. The sample that I showed used JavaScript, and I want to show you the JavaScript function so you understand what it's doing. The first function that I had was a pressing character inputs in a numeric field. All that it does is it looks for the key code of the keyboard key that I press and if this is not a numeric key code or if it's not a control key like delete or tab key then it will just reset the old value that it reads as soon as I type a key and then cancels the event so it gets blocked. The other way around would be where you want to suppress numeric input. So you want to allow character input. 
the same code just with different conditions here and it works exactly the same. So in summary you can control the input behavior that users have on the column filter. I showed you how to override the user input by using JavaScript but you can also add a select one choice or an input date to enforce users to use a specific UI component on the filter to reduce the surface for potential errors in the query. And what you always have to keep in mind is that for any field that you want to customize the behavior you look up the column filter facet and add your stuff. And then first thing take the value property of the UI component and wire this one up to the filter criteria so that the default query behavior of the ADF faces column filtering remains working. If you want to learn more about Oracle and ADF just go to the JDeveloper homepage on OTN which is oracle.com technology slash JDEV for a lot of downloads, tutorials, access to discussion forums and more samples about ADF.